Hey. How's it going? It's going, you know, hanging in there. We're happy to have you back on Young Hollywood. A little different this time. Yeah, I know, right? That's normal in uh, the studio. Thanks for having me, though. I'm happy to be here as well. I got my coffee. I'm feeling good. What have you been up to in quarantine? Um, lots of writing. Um, and, you know, a lot of people think writing songs, which I've been kind of dabbling in a little bit, but I've actually been writing uh, screenplays. Oh. Uh, yeah, I directed my first short film last year and just put it up on YouTube, uh, just a, a little thing. And um, I've, so I've been writing another one that I'm hopefully going to shoot as soon as uh, I'm okay. allowed to. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. Though. I assumed songs. I'm not going to lie. I assumed you just met songs. Yeah, you know, I, I for some reason, I just don't find uh, songwriting very intriguing for me. Um, I, I would rather have people that I think are really good songwriters kind of do it. And then I can kind of construct it and yeah. work it in fit my realm, you know, changes a lot of lyrics uh, usually. But yeah, for the most part, I, I love writing. Um, I love screenplays. I'm a, I'm a big movie buff. So I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm sort of transitioning into director world, which is exciting. That is exciting. And is there any tea, a little bit of hint of what you're writing about that you can spill? Uh, I'll say it takes place on Halloween. Okay, well, that's fun because the costume, that's a good time to do it. Yeah, so it's a, you know, it's a comedy for sure. There's a little bit of a romance and it's just fun because I'm an actor as well. So I, I write a character in for myself and I have a lot of actor friends and we actually, uh, over, over quarantine, we actually have had a table read on Zoom with um, some of the cast. Some were, I was sort of testing out and uh, testing the waters to see if they could play the part. But my buddy, Kurt Mega from Glee, who I met on Glee years ago, a uh, really, really good friend of mine. He came to my wedding and everything. Um, he's going to play the other lead apart from me. And he, he oh. was so funny. I just was, it was, the table read on Zoom was hilarious. I can't even imagine. How yeah, I was going to say, wait till you guys are in person together. Yeah, it was, it was truly funny and, and so fun. So I've been doing that and um, lots of sunshine walks just through the neighborhood, mm -hmm. just trying to keep my immune system good with some nice sunshine and vitamin D, you know. Mm -hmm. um yeah and swimming I've been swimming a lot <laughs> okay so the the song escape from quarantine that you're about to drop was that was filmed right at your house that's your pool that's, that's my parents house actually okay. so uh, so we were supposed to be on tour I was supposed to be out on tour with my brother's group the the driver era like this whole year pretty much mm -hmm. and so that whole tour got postponed and rescheduled so uh I moved out of my house my wife and I we were like oh we'll we'll, we'll work touring so let's kind of travel through the yeah. tours like literally we were supposed to be in Greece right now um <sighs> and you know the whole thing just just rescheduled and postponed so yeah I moved out of my house so I've been living with my parents mm -hmm. how's, that, how's that been going honestly I love it um I have really great relationships with my parents um mm -hmm. like my dad and I make coffee together in the morning we go on a walk my, uh, my mom and I love watching series and movies together. So actually yesterday we just watched, just for a uh, walk down memory lane, we yeah. watched the uh, R5 Live at the Greek DVD, which came out in 2015, I think, 2016. It, oh my gosh, just watching that was just like the memories that like shot back in my head was insane. Oh my gosh. Oh, but it was so, it was well, so how funny. was your mom so, reacting to it? What was she saying? Oh, she was like, I bring, she was like, take me back. <laughs> Cause we were all like, you know, just early twenties and, yeah. and late teenagers. And so we were all kind of babies still. And just, you know, not entirely sure what we were doing, still figuring it out, but it was such a huge tour. I mean, we played yeah. the Greek theater. Like that is a huge venue. Like I don't even like looking back, I didn't even realize how huge it was until yeah. now so nice that you have like time like because you wouldn't have probably normally done that if you would like life was all normal and everything so it's oh, cool yeah. to, like reminisce and kind of bring that all back it was great I, it was uh, it's so nice to sort of it's, it's good to kind of remember like where you yeah. where you, you know, where you come from and uh, you know that was uh, it was such a huge part of our lives and the fact that so many of those fans have like transferred over into the driver era and yeah beachcombers and our, all of our, you know, Ross and I's acting projects as well. I mean, we, we've grown with this really dedicated fan base and um, that's the craziest thing to me. I, I cannot express my gratitude enough 
for that. It's, it's truly amazing. Mm -hmm. And now we're here, escape from quarantine dropping. Yeah. What, what was it like filming the video? Like while you're at your house and like the pool and just keeping it in a very close space to like, what was the inspiration behind doing it? Um, well, the inspiration was I was out here walking around the pool. Well, I'm just playing acoustic guitar. Um, I think I had like a couple acoustic performances kind of like on Zoom and like yeah. live chat stuff coming up. And so I was just kind of practicing and I was walking around the pool and I just all of a sudden my director brain clicked on and I was like, oh, if we could just film this and then like pass this way and like have all this movement. And I was like, it could be a, it could be a one take. I'll, get, I'll tell you one funny story. So we had six bottles of champagne only and each take took one bottle. So we had six yeah, takes. Six that was it. To get it. Yeah. And so I think it was the fourth bottle. So we had done three takes and we were like, all right, that's pretty good. You know, we're fine tuning, timing little things. And I'm walking back to, towards the chair where I'm going to sit next to my skeleton yeah. and Rocky's going to hand me the bottle of champagne. And Rock, I'm walking, I'm looking at Rocky and he pops the champagne like way early and we're in the middle of the take. So I kind of tilt away from the camera so you can't see my voice and I'm like get another one so he <laughs> comes into the garage where we have the fridge of the champagne grabs another one has to take the the metal aluminum yeah. stuff off unscrew the thing and have it ready for me to pop and he got he got the timing it was crazy and uh that's not I bet you're just like going through like doing it and you're like oh my god like just dying on the inside like is it gonna happen is it gonna happen <laughs> yeah and then there was like times where like I'm diving onto the tube to try yeah. to get to the side of the pool and I'm like almost falling off it was it was fun but we got it I think it was literally the last take I think is the one we used so we yeah. got it on the last one it's all that matters <laughs> it's been one of your favorite songs to perform and write Ooh, uh, I mean, something very, very special about My Girl Rita for me. Um, That's a vibe and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. Even the music so much, video, yeah. it's so vibey. It's so fun. It just makes you want to be in tanning on the beach. Yeah, that's the whole point of this project, really, is just to make people want and feel like they're on vacation. But, yeah, there's something about that song. Like, the first time I ever played it, I was opening for, um, oh, my gosh, I can't remember the names. I was opening for the, these guys in um, San Diego. It'll come to me. Um, and I, it was the first, song I ever, first time I ever played the song live. And it was just acoustic. And uh, somebody grabbed me right immediately when I finished the set. They were like, hey, that Margarita song, that's your song. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's it's just, your piece. Yeah, it's, it's the story about how it came about with my, my friend John, another guy from Glee, John Hall. Um, really good friend of mine, uh, you know, he was just like, I got this idea and I think it'd be perfect for you. And he's like, it's my girl Rita, but it's saying like Margarita. And I was just like, let, let me, let me put you with my producers and just knock it out, man. What is one thing you're most looking forward to doing when this is all over? Um, skydiving for sure. Is, have you done uh, before? I have. Yeah. I've done, um, I'm almost a licensed, so I can jump by myself. I've done, uh, what was the number I was? I think I've done 15, 15 skydives. Wow. So the first one was with, you know, tandem. So you're attached to somebody coming down. And then the next seven were with instructors. And then my eighth skydive was totally solo. Is that so scary? Myself. That has to be so scary. Yeah, no, the ride up is twice as scary because with, with instructors, you have like, all right, they're asking you all these questions, making sure that you're prepared to do yeah. what you need to do. And when you do that first solo, nobody asks you anything. You're just in the plane. You know, the instructors have other students that they're worried about. So that was pretty freaky. But the coolest part was um, after you get a certain level with uh, instructors, you can, I, my dad is uh, D licensed. So my dad has over a thousand jumps. So I can actually jump with my dad and we jumped uh, together for the first time that and there's a couple of photos on my instagram i think of it it's oh my gosh it was that was an experience man like jumping out of the plane getting stable and then my dad was like oh my god like, yeah. my dad's pro so i'm really excited about that and um going to the movie theater i love my wife and i go to the movie theaters like once a week no way not, really that's what you guys love and, to do together oh my gosh yeah date night movie theater like all the time and so i'm definitely missing that oh that's so true is that close Oh, there we go. Sorry, my brother's trying to, Ryland's trying to FaceTime me. It just came over my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. Well, no, we just want to, honestly, if you need to take the call, because I just wanted to find out everything about the escape from quarantine video dropping and what you've been up to in quarantine. 
That's pretty much it, you know, I'm working on these screenplays. Um, I recorded an, an, a new song for Riker and Beachcombers on Monday and I'm um, going to do an, another one uh, or touching up touch ups on that this coming Monday. So when will that drop? That, is there a date? That's for coming out as soon as I get that one finished, because that one's called Remedy. And that is that's uh, kind of it's like the song's about I'm I'll be the remedy for everything that's going on and yeah. everything that's bad. So. I really want to get that out as soon as possible because I think it's kind of relatable to what's going on and people just, you know, struggling. I'm even struggling. Like I've ever since I was 18, I've had a plan. Like I'm doing this, this that's going to lead me to this and we're doing yeah. this, we're doing this tour. I'm shooting this movie. I've had a plan. I've had it all, you know, like scheduled out. And I, right now I don't have a plan. It's so and hard. Like, like no one's I'm kind of freaking out. Yeah. Yeah. But that's exciting. The song dropping remedy. I'll just keep an eye out. Yeah, so as soon as it's done, it's coming out. Well, that's going to be a good time. That's going to be a good time. We'll keep an eye out. And yeah. yeah, thank you so much for talking to us today. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Anytime.